y'all, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be taking you to some of the best breweries here in Portland. Keep in mind, this is going to be a pretty subjective list. So if I miss your favorite brewery in Portland, please politely comment down below so others can check it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. First up is Cascades Brewing, and they are well known for their sour beers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big sour beer person, but I know many of y'all probably do like sour beers, so it'd be wrong of me to not include this place. However, there are different beers that you can get here that aren't sours. They have a great outdoor patio, which is tented, and it's located in east side area of Portland, so you're not too far from southeast Belmont which is a little bit further down the road. And they do have some bar food here, so I did get some pretzels. Oh gosh, and I spilled the cheese everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this pretzel because that's what I wanna enjoy. So for me, I got the A Bold Clean Strong Flight, which comes with three beers and it's $8. So it consists of the Sismark Pale Ale, Close Confident, which is like a very multi-type Beer. And then this is the Bold and Unrolled, which is an oatmeal stout. I'm gonna try the Sitzmark Pale Ale. It's definitely really hoppy. I'm not the biggest pale ale person, but it has a nice clean and smooth taste to it, which I really like. So this is the Close Confident. I feel like I'm probably gonna like this. Oh yeah, that's really good. This is the Bold and Unrolled, and again, this is a oatmeal stout beer. Oh, it's so good. And it's so smooth. I really like how smooth their beers are. Once you are done with Cascade Brewing, make sure you head over to Wayfinder Beer, which is where I'm going next. It's about a 15 minute walk from Cascade. So that is where I'm heading to try out some of their beer, which is also in Central Eastside. So I've made it to Wayfinder Beer, which is also located in Central Eastside of Portland. And what I like about this place is that it's very cozy. I love the vibe of this place. And they got tons of options on tap. And they do have a great selection of bar bites in case you do get hungry. And what I like about this place is that they have an elevated deck and then a lower patio, depending on your preference. I chose to sit on the elevated deck. And when it gets cooler or cold during the day or night, they do have a fire pit that they light, so it can be nice and warm and cozy if you do choose to sit outside. But of course, you always have the option to sit inside. I got this party time beer, and basically it's a Bahavian Pilsner. So this place is really well known for a lot of lager beers or pale ales, so I'm gonna try this one out. Mm. It is a very hoppy beer, which is exactly what I wanted. I was craving something really hoppy just because I wanted something pretty light and the alcohol percentage in this is pretty low, which is why I got it, but it comes in this cool glass. So this is 10 Barrel Brewing Company and there are a couple locations around Portland. This is the one in the Pearl District. This brewery is actually based out of Bend, Oregon, but I really wanted to include it just because it is so popular in Portland. What I love about this location specifically is that they have a rooftop patio and tons of beers on tap. I mean, this is the perfect place to go on a summer day when the weather is beautiful and enjoy a huge flight of beer. So let's talk about that really quick. This is the flight. It comes with 10 of their popular beers. So a lot of these are IPAs. It will take me a long time to just go over them, but I'm excited to try the dark beers. I think one of these is like a fruitier beer, which I'm not as excited to try, but we'll see how this goes. So this is the Pilsner. That's really good. And then the next one is the Profuse Juice. So this is the one that I'm not as excited to try, because I don't like a fruity beer. Wow. Actually, you know what? It smells fruity, but I can't taste it. All right, I'm kind of surprised by that one. So this is the Apocalypse, which I believe is an IPA. That's really smooth for an IPA, interesting. These are some really solid beers. 
And this is the bellflower. <laughs> the look on your face. Yeah, that's kind of sour. I'm not really a fan of that one. Yeah, this is the pub beer, which I think is also an IPA. No, it's a lager. That's good. I like a good lager. So this is Nature Calls, and this is a mountain IPA. I can't really taste the difference between these two. It's really hard to tell. And then this one is the Solstice, which is a log. Or no, this is also an IPA. Tun Barrel is really well known for their IPAs, just FYI. So this is the Sinister. So this is a black ale. That's good. It kind of looks like soda. The next is the Dementor's Kiss. It's a dark lager. And then finally we have the Always, which is the all or it's called Always Down, which is a double IPA. I can't taste the difference between these three IPAs right here, but I would say that Bell Tower one was my least favorite. What do you think of the Pilsner? Definitely better than those commercial beers that I've tried, like Bud Light. Oh yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a real beer drinker, so I'm just gonna sip each of these and see what I think. Yeah, so those are the, that's the Profuse juice. This I think I could drink. Yeah, I mean you can have the rest of it if you want. And what's this one again? So is that the number three? So that is the Apocalypse. Hmm, it's kind of smoky. I don't know if that makes sense, but smoky. It does. So that was the one I didn't like, the bell, the bell flower. The more you don't like? It was too citrusy. fruity and sour. Yeah, I didn't like that one. I like the sour, I like the citrus taste to it. That is the pub beer. Yeah, no. <laughs> nope. Sounds no. like you're not an IPA person. It's okay, neither am I. That's nature's call. I can't tell the difference except for it's a weaker taste. That's the, that's what I was saying. Like, I can't taste the difference. Taste, this is weaker. Okay. Does that make sense, like taste-wise? I guess. I, I wasn't able to taste the difference with those two. Yeah, this is a bit stronger flavor. This is a bit of a watered-down flavor compared to this one. Interesting. So that one is the Solstice. It's what you get for being a wine drinker. You can tell these differences. It's a slight citrus taste to it. I didn't taste that. That's interesting you taste the citrus to it. First dark beer. I've never had a dark beer before. Dark beer is the best. I love dark beer. So that's the Sinister. I thought that one was really smooth. Coffee? It makes me think of coffee. Well, they do have coffee flavored beers. I'm just saying that made me... So, so that had hints of, yeah, that has a hint, that had a hint of chocolate and coffee. Okay. So that is Harry the Harry Potter fan, Dementor's Kiss. Dementor's I'm down Kiss, for this. yep. How would you describe that one? Definitely still tastes some coffee to it, but it's a bit of a lighter, subtler note than the other one. Yeah. And Those last one is always down. That's an IPA. Yeah, it's still disgusting. <laughs> So Ryan does not like IPAs. What is your actual drink? Because you got a cocktail. Delicious cocktail with orange flavors. It's delicious. This is a drink. Let me see. So he got the Alley Sunset, which is vodka, pineapple lime, orange zest puree, and kava. Yeah, it's good. Bottoms up. Uh huh. I'm currently at Von Ebert Brewing in the Pearl District and this is such a really cool brewery. I love all the plants and I love their aesthetic. It has a nice very ambiance to the whole restaurant and they brew their own beer in-house. So I got the Margaret Ale. So it's around 4.2% ABV which I wanted something light so let's try it. It's very refreshing. There's a little bit of like an orange peel taste to it, so I can definitely taste that, but this is a really great refreshing beer. I've had so many flights lately that I just wanted to have like this nice glass of ale, so it's really delicious, but basically you order at the bar, you use a QR scanner to find the menu, 
and then they will bring your food out to your table. So this is a great place to come and watch sports. They have lots of TVs all around the bar if you're really into sports. But the natural light here is beautiful and it's in a really good location. So I definitely think you should check this place out because just the aesthetic and the beer and I think the people who work here are really great. So come check it out. So this is Breakside Brewery. It is located in Northwest or Slaptown. It's like right next to the New Seasons Market. So they do have an outdoor patio and then they do have the second floor if you wanted to eat up the stairs. I am currently sitting downstairs at the table. And so their vibe is very industrial, which is really nice. And they have some nice big windows, some good natural light. They do have a great selection of food and draft beers and other cocktail beverages. And basically the way that you order is through their contactless menu using the Toast app. So just be mindful of that when you want to come order here. And then they'll bring it to you and you can immediately close out your tab and pay for it without like any waiting time on the server. I decided to get their sampling tasting tray. It is $14 and it comes with six different beers. So we're gonna try them together. Let's go ahead and try the flight. So this first one, which is like this pinky color. This is the eye purple use. So this is like their purple fruit bear. It has ube and blackberry and it says it has like a subtle cake dessert, whatever that means. I thought this would be good because I really like ube, so we'll see. That's interesting. It kind of tastes like just like a blonde ale, but it's like this pinky red color. It's definitely very subtle. I'm having a hard time tasting the ube. I, I really like it though. It's not what I thought it was gonna taste like. I was worried it was gonna have more hints of blackberry, but I can't even taste that. So this has really surprised me. This is the float and it's a summer Mexican lager. Oh yeah, very clean, very light, very refreshing. This is the black malt. So this is a Schwar beer with like a rye flavor to it and it's supposed to have like a very malty taste. I like a good dark beer, so let's try it out. It's very chocolatey. I'm all about it. This is just their Pilsner, so it's a German Pilsner. And it's supposed to have like a grassy taste to it, which I find interesting, but it's also going to have a very grainy taste to it as well. So let's try it out. Yeah, that's really good. So this is the Breakside IPA. This is one of their popular flavors is what it looks like. So this has like hints of evergreen and it's supposed to be kind of bitter and has like a tropical flavor to it. So we'll see what I think of it. I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of this one. It's called your Let Your Indulgence Set Me Free beer. So this is definitely a dark beer and it looks like it is going to be very sweet so it says that it's aged in bourbon which is interesting and it has like a bittersweet chocolate taste with some marshmallow in here i'm gonna give it a go mm. wow that is really sweet this literally tastes like a beer flavored some more i kid you not it feels like i'm drinking an alcoholic flavored some more if that makes sense at all but this is really delicious. So far I think this is probably like my favorite brewery that I've been to. I'm really liking the taste and the consistencies of their beers. I really think that the flavors here are very light and refreshing which is something that I really like out of a beer. In terms of the let your indulgence set me free, that's a very heavy beer. I would definitely recommend having that with dessert. I would not have like something greasy with it just because it's so sweet and so heavy so I really do recommend if you're gonna have this one, which is delicious, have this with like a slice of cake or some ice cream, and I think it's gonna be like the perfect addition to your dessert. Okay, so I'm at Great Notion Brewery in Northwest, so in the Slab Town area, and I have here the lager. It's called the Notion Light, so it has a 4.2% ABV. I have been very burnt out with flight, so I just wanted to get a light beer. So yeah, it's really refreshing. 
by limited time. And so this location is pretty small. There are a couple of other locations around this city. I wanted to come out to this one just because I liked the industrial lumberjack feel to this brewery and they do have food so I ordered the Crunchwrap Supreme and I got the Beyond Meat in it instead of the pork. It is a pretty small location but they do have a cute little outdoor patio. It is small and long but I think it is a very nice and casual vibe. I highly recommend this. I've heard such great things about Great Notion so I knew that I had to come check it out so cheers! We are at our final stop and this is Migration Brewing. This is a pretty common brewery in Portland. They do have two other locations in Portland. I know there's one out near Gresham and then there's one in Northeast Portland, but I am at the Elliott Boise location and so I'm sitting out in their really cute patio. This is a pretty small location and their menus do change pretty consistently, but I did decide to get my last flight because I did want to try some of their flavors here. They look like they're about five ounces each. This is the Hello again, so it is an IPA, and it's supposed to have like a hoppy taste to it. I need one more sip. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It's not my favorite one, I'll be honest. Next, this is the Proper Pilsner. I do like a good Pilsner. This is much better. I prefer this a lot. I've never really been a big IPA person. This one I'm really excited for. This is the Toasty Hive Nitro. So I believe this is like a malty honey flavored is what it says on the description. So let's see how this tastes. That is very smooth. I really like this one a lot. So this one is the Infinite Rip and this is like a Czech based Pilsner. Mm. It definitely tastes different than the second one that I had. Still like it better than the IPA. And so for this last one, the Foragers for Buds and it is a West Coast type IPA and all their description says it has ingredients from the beautiful forests of Oregon. That one's not bad actually. I would drink that more. So yeah, the only one that I just didn't really like was the Hello Again. The flight was $16 and you can get food here. I am choosing not to eat just because I ate before I came here. They do have a wide variety of food and I love this patio a ton. So definitely check this place out. So tell me. Which brewery do you like in Portland, Oregon? Comment down below and let me know. And if you liked this video and you discovered a cool new brewery, make sure you do give this video a thumbs up. And with that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.